Radio, wireless, communications without wires. That's what this site is about. This is the original 1914 Marconi Company transmitting site at Bolinas, just north of San Francisco, right on the edge of the Pacific Ocean. Now, before radio and before wireless, once a ship went over the horizon, they were completely out of contact until they reached port, and sometimes they didn't reach port. After the advent of wireless or radio, they were in constant contact 24 hours a day, and this is one of the stations that communicated with those ships at sea. A radio man on watch aboard a task force flagship is handed a tactical signal by the communications officer. This is immediately transmitted to the rest of the division. As a result of this signal, the entire task force changes course. The radio man plays an important part in maneuvers. His fighting weapon is the transmission key. After the end of 1999, it was no longer required to have a skilled radio operator on board ships. That requirement was eliminated. Those folks not only lost their jobs, they lost their careers. Where are you going to go if you're a telegraph operator? This was the end of the line. This was it. And it took me over two years to be able to come back to the receive station up in Point Reyes because I couldn't face it emotionally because I knew what I would see there. I knew I would see a room where all these men and women worked, where all the receivers were in their desks and their lockers and all of their paperwork and their pay stubs, earphones, telegraph keys. I knew that would all be ripped out. I knew that would all be trashed. I knew it would just be consigned to the dustbin of history. So I had a very hard time facing that. But finally went up there and talked my way past the guard on the door walked down the hallway to the receiving room, which I was sure was going to be trashed. And before I got into that room, I heard some of the things we're hearing right now. You hear that Morse code. You hear that static coming in over the receivers. And the hair just went up on the back of my neck because I knew this was done. It was closed. It was dead. And yet I'm hearing this stuff. And I walk into that room, and it was like they had left 20 minutes ago. And not only that, the receivers were still on maintaining a symbolic watch over the airwaves. You can hear ships calling in Morse code, you can hear the static. That's how much it meant to these folks, and that's how much it meant to us. We saw that, we say, well, here's, we've got a time capsule here, and it appears we've, we've been lucky enough now to find our life's work. Our life's work is to bring this back, to honor these men and women, to make sure their skills and their tradition and their culture and their names and what they did, it's not gonna be lost to history. That's when we began work. That was in 1999. We've been on the job since then.